Cooper, the top one. Just start with the big letters. Focus is a muscle. Focus is a muscle, okay? If you wanna get bigger muscles, what do you do? You work out. Work out, right? You go to the gym, you buy weights, you get a Nordic track, whatever it is, all right? Focus is a muscle. As a side note, I put, it gets stronger with use, it gets weaker without use. Without use, don't be the usual suspect. Okay, do you guys know what a usual suspect is? Okay, well, so the usual suspect is somebody that kind of makes the same mistake over and over and over, right? The same guy that who's like, <clears throat> we've been doing this drill for like seven reps and then he jumps in line and he's like, uh, what are we doing? Uh, he's the guy that like, the ball's hit and all of a sudden he's like, wait, what's going on? You know what I mean? Don't be the usual suspect, right? Don't be the usual suspect, okay? Focus is a muscle, okay? Get in the habit of making it habit, right? Get in the habit of making it habit, okay? If somebody has to tell you to focus, it's not good, right? If you don't know how to stay locked in, then we don't have, we don't have a chance, all right? What, are we, what have I been saying since day one? Focus is the what? Focus is the what that keeps it? The glue. The glue. Focus is the glue that keeps it, all together. keeps it all together, right? Focus is the glue that keeps it all together, right? You're working on, you know, off-speed hitting. You're working on um, your changeup. You're working on getting better jumps in the outfield, whatever. Getting better jumps at first base. Without focus, you won't know if you're doing it right or wrong. Without focus, you won't know how to improve it. Right? You focus, you know whether you're doing it right or wrong. If you're doing it wrong, you improve it. How do you know if you're doing it right or wrong? You measure it, right? You measure it, okay? If I'm throwing harder, the measure is miles per hour, right? If I'm trying to hit the ball farther, the measure is miles per hour blended with launch angle, okay? Whatever it is. So don't be the usual suspect, all right? <clears throat> Russ, right here, what does this say? Just start with this brain equals constant connection so what your brain is doing all the time is it's making connections all right and the connections are most often based on prior experience so if i put my hand in the fire and it gets burnt and it hurts right the next time i see the fire the previous uh, experience is going to tell me not to do that right this is the way your brain works it's making constant connection connections based on previous experience, okay? So, right here is a sub note. I put negative at bats, or <clears throat> holding on to negative at bats, equals negative visualization. You guys know what visualization is, right? So visualization is uh, a memory or something that you hold on in your brain. So if I take the at bat, I strike out, curveball in the dirt, um, I go back to the dugout and I get all fired up and I throw my batting glove and I sit down and I put my head down and I'm doing this. What you're doing is you're negatively visualizing that at bat. You're going over it in your head over and over and over again and your brain is making that constant connection. So guess what happens the next time you go to the bat and he throws that curveball in the dirt? What's going to happen? Your brain's going to make connections. It's going to make that a connection, right? Because you visualized it. You did it over and over and over and over again in your head and you kept hanging on to it and you made that connection, and so it happens again. So what do we do on the negative outcomes? Blank stare. Blank stare, dude. You be that robot, right? That's the way myelin works. So why do we hang on to those connections? Why does that happen? Because you give it a meaning. And what when you give it a meaning, what are you giving it? That E word. That E word. Emotion. emotion when you give it emotion you give it a meaning and when you give it a meaning you give it a memory and when you give it a memory you hang on to it and when you hang on to it when it happens again in the game you're gonna keep going back to it because you've made that connection you've reinforced it you've wrapped that nerve ending in myelin and then you've myelinated it so when you guys hear me constantly go over be a robot to the bad and celebrate the good that's the science behind it you know what i mean so it's constant connections it's constant connections your brain's going to go back to what it knows so when you get that bad result the result that you don't want you robot that how do you improve on that 
it's like a muscle it's like a muscle it doesn't happen automatic until it becomes automatic right it doesn't happen automatic until you work on it over and over and over again it doesn't become your subconscious until it starts in your conscious and you have to work that process over and over and over until it just becomes that right you have to tell yourself how to walk you have to tell yourself right and then left and then right and then left and then right. I mean, Cuddy might sometimes, but uh. <laughs> no, right? It's become subconscious. It happens. You don't have to teach yourself every day how to brush your teeth. You know how to do that. Uh, Jesse, I don't know. Okay. Which one, him? Russ. Russ is yeah. there. Kidding. Russ. All right. So, like <laughs> hey, it's bottom line. Dev, right here. Uh, Take the jump, pack the chute on the way down. There's green lights everywhere. Okay. This is, has to do with risks, right? Take risk. Take risk. Take the jump, pack the chute on the way down. The chute meaning the parachute. Jump out of the plane, pack the chute on the way down. All right? If you had a shoot, parachute in your hand and the pack to hold it in, and somebody pushed you out of a plane, would you be pretty focused on what you're trying yeah. to do? Yeah. yeah. Is there some time constraint there? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is there some pressure there? Yes. If you freak out, what's going to happen? Yeah, That's a wrap. <laughs> right? But you know, okay, I've got about, I don't know, a thousand feet to get this chute packed on my shoulders and pull the string. Right? If you freak out and you panic, what's going to happen? Okay. It's a wrap, dude. Don't freak out. Take the process, one thing at a time, take the chute, pile it in. I don't know, I've never jumped out of a plane before, but take the chute, I think this is how it works. Take the chute, pile it in, pull the string, something like that, all right? So like when there's a slow runner at the plate and you're playing third base and he hooks one down the line and it hits off the thumb of your glove and you bobble it and then you freak out, panic, what's gonna happen? You're gonna sail it, right? But if you pre you pre pitched it slow runner laser to my backhand bam I bobble it what am I gonna do I'm gonna bare hand I'm gonna bare hand right I'm gonna get up I know I got time so I'm gonna shuffle and rip right so those are the things I'm talking about like pack the shoot take risks when I say there's green lights everywhere meaning like there's opportunities to be aggressive in this game in life whatever it is but you gotta take the jump. Right? If I give you a 3-0 green light, dude, I want you coming out of your shoes. All right. Naturally, there's a blend of coordination there, and we're gonna take a. a you're not gonna hit like this. Right? You gotta take somewhat of a, a clean cut approach to it, but let it go, man. Let it rip. Right? Take that risk, man. Um, who knows? You know what I mean? Who knows? You never know who's watching. That's, that's true in life, dude. you never know who's watching. If you take a risk on a ball in the gap and you make a great play, how do you, like, if you don't take that risk, you don't know if you're gonna make that great play. That's why, I'll, that's why we do mandatory divers, because you don't know how capable you are of diving until what? Yeah. Until you dive, until you lay out. Do you catch it all the time? No. Do you miss it sometimes? Yeah. What do you do? You go back, you try it again, and you do it a different way, right? And if you mess it up like that, what do you do? You try, it. try it again a different way. And if you mess it up like that, what do you do? Try you try it again a different way. And if you mess it up like that, what do you do? Try it, try it again a different way. And then if you get it right, what do you do? Keep doing, keep repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and just keep doing it, right? Does that make sense? Yes. All right, boys. Let's get a couple of dubs today. Hit it. Feeding gallop. Oh, you